things that you know you may do behind the scenes and besides it's my money and if you know it's no different than somebody spending like we always say tons of money on clothes and shoes and all that stuff and that money could have went to somebody too you know it could have went to the home kids you know overseas and here and there you know um i get what they're saying but you know they don't really understand and then the other thing is a lot of people just assume automatically you don't have kids or and even if you don't so what it's your business i did um i i did start getting really deep into this because um i feel you know because after a while people keep saying stuff and then like i said i'm very analytical and i start trying to evaluate myself like why am i so into these dolls like this i'm really addicted to collecting these dolls now it's like it goes deeper than my passion for just collecting regular dolls when i was a kid it's like it feels like everybody in the community is trying to fill a void or something it's not necessarily that i'm filling a void because you know technically you know you have to have a love of god and you have to you know be content within yourself so you can't feel that with you know material things not even another person can make you happy you have to be happy with yourself and within that's my belief but however i do feel like i get some kind of comfort out of the babies because they look like babies they feel like babies and they give me that motherly feel and my children you know my youngest was 16 when i you know well he's 16 and they were older when I started collecting these lifelike dolls and I didn't have a baby running around the house. And um, although now I do have a toddler running around the house, she's gonna grow up. And um, a lot of people think, oh, well, you know, my family, a few of my family and friends was like, I guess you won't keep collecting the dolls now since you got a real baby in the house. No, I that wasn't even, that was like something that just happened. You know, I didn't plan for that. I didn't, I wasn't prepared for that. I'm not, you know, it's not going to take away from my hobby. I still love my dolls. I make time to do this and play with them and change them and all that and stuff. Like today when I clean my house, a part of cleaning my house is organizing my babies, getting them dressed. It's a routine. I'm not going to throw that away because I have a real child running around in the house. I hope that she grow up and like dolls too. <laughs> she liked them now, but I have my friends said that she may outgrow it. Um, so anyway, I went all off subject. I'm gonna stop one of the cameras here. I'm gonna keep recording on the other camera. So if you guys wanna hear more of this discussion, and I don't know if I'm gonna like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I got two cameras going right now um, in hopes that I get one good clip for you guys um and then i'm going to proceed to talk about this baby because this camera is going to take a long time to upload if i keep recording yeah it's like 50